welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to cover off the F10 menu and spawning items in via it. When I'm on the DCS forums, I see a lot of questions asked about this particular subject, so I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So first of all, what I'd like to do is set up an aircraft. So we'll fly as the UK. We'll put a Spitfire in here and stick it just over East Guildford and then we'll take it out over the channel and then we'll create that as a client aircraft and call it Spitty. Let's type that in. Now what I'd like to do is spawn in a Jerry aircraft when I select it via the F10 menu. So what we need to do now is put the aircraft in so we'll choose Third Reich. I think we'll do an Anton. So we'll put an A8 in. We'll put him over here. We'll give him some waypoints. Out towards Dungeness and then back to himself there. And then what we'll do is we'll make him late activation. And that's your aircraft setup. But as I said, I wanted him to spawn in when I choose from the F10 menu. So let's look at the triggers for that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set up the F10 radio menu. What we'll do is we'll add a new, we'll call it radio. No conditions, because I want it to happen right from the very start. And what we do is we add a radio item. Now, you can add a radio item singularly for a coalition for a group up to you um, i'm just going to at this particular point add a radio item now if i wanted it just for this specific group i would say radio item add for group if i wanted it to a whole coalition as an option then that's the one i would select i tell you what i'll do it as a group so i'll select the group and it was spitty i'm going to call it spawn jerry Now you'll see there's a flag value 1 and a value of 1. So when flag 1 with a value of 1 is activated, which is when you select it via the F10 menu, I want the Anton to spawn in. So what we would do then is we will add, I'll call it A8 spawn. So flag equals is what we choose. And remember it was flag 1 and the value was 1. So we made the Anton a late activation. So we'll say group activate. And it was called aerial 1 was Jerry. So there we go. That's it basically set up. What will happen is I'll be able to go into the F10 menu. I will see that listed. It'll say spawn Jerry. I then select it and the Jerry aircraft will spawn in. Now what you can do so that you don't get a whole host of triggers is you can remove the original radio command. So what I'll do here is radio item remove, oh, radio item remove for group and the group is spitty. And if you remember, it was called Spawn Jerry. So what I'll do is I'll Control C that and copy it across. And then just paste that into there. To explain, we set up the radio menu. So flag 1 is 1. The group will activate the Jerry aircraft. At the same time, we will have used that radio command. So I've now removed it using the radio item remove for group command. Hope that was simple and straightforward and let's see how it works. Okay so here I am in my trusty Spitfire and what I'll do I'll go to the comms menu we'll select the F10 so that's option 10. There we go you can see F1 is spawn Jerry. So I'll now use voice attack and select option 1. Option 1. 
Now Jerry should have spawned out in front of me. He's a, he's a way off, but let's have a look. Option two. Option two. There you go, one Jerry aircraft spawned in. Now, you can't continually spawn in the same aircraft, because within DCS, once an aircraft has spawned in, and it's dead, it's dead, so you can't reactivate it. So if you want multiple types of aircraft, you will have to set up multiple late activations, and you could set them on a random basis. So that's basically how you command something to spawn in via the F10 menu. So I hope that was useful, and thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Ciao for now.